The cages are labeled with letters, or names and numbers. The labels on the cages could refer to the customers who buy human merchandise from Ivankov. I base this assumption on the register, in which some of the pieces are marked as acceptable and paid for, and others are not. What does he do with the ones that are rejected? A metal table on which bodies were mutilated recently. Human bodies, dismembered in cages that likely house dogs. A scoreboard, like a knockout tournament. Chewed and stained with blood and body tissue. With all the pieces that are rejected by his customers, Ivankov organizes fights, probably to the death, between prisoners and between prisoners and dogs. Maybe even between prisoners and his own men. What is the fate of those that lose? A metal table on which bodies were mutilated recently. Human bodies, dismembered and piled up like trash. It seems clear that those that lose in combat are hacked to pieces. Some of them, while they're still alive. I'd say they're then thrown into the water, but there's no proof. The giant container has been used to hold children. Was Sophia Capone held in the container?
Corey's underwear. Dirty. Doesn't look like the dress Capone said Sophia was wearing. Nah. Well, Sophia was wearing a blue dress with flowers that I personally ordered for her from Italy. And she was also wearing white ballet shoes with daisies embroidered on them. No adult could sleep here. What do you have to do to a child before they draw something like that? A girl's shoe identical to the one that Capone said his granddaughter Sophia children's shampoo. Towels that are still damp. The forgeries belonging to Sophia Capone's kidnapper, a shoe, identical to the one described by Capone, and the documents used by the person pretending to be Sophia's uncle, make it certain that she was held here. Sophia Capone was here, but did she get out? A hefty receipt for children. Someone paid a lot of money for a piece of merchandise that could well be... According to the register, Ivankov was paid for Sophia, which means she was handed over to his customer. Sophia Capone got out of here, but did she get out alive? Towels that are still damp. Children's shampoo. Someone wanted them to a hefty receipt for children's clothes. With yesterday, the damp towels, the children's shampoo, and the receipt from the children's clothes shop indicate that they washed and dressed the children before taking them away. I strongly doubt that they washed them just to kill them, so there is reason to believe that Sophia Capone is still alive. We're done here. Let's go. Already? I thought I'd have time to finish Act 4. Are you doubting my efficiency as a detective? That would depend on the quality of your conclusions. <laughs> Ivan Cobb is a human trafficker. He has various customers who make specific requests. Slavers, imps, God knows what else. Kidnaps them and puts them in these cages, shackling them and feeding them like animals until he's ready to complete the order. When he has enough, or maybe when the designated day comes around, his customer comes here and decides which of his catches are satisfactory and which are not. What does he do with the rejects? For many people, this would be a problem, but not for Ivankov. Like a true boxing fan, he organizes fights between the failed candidates. Bloody tournaments, possibly to the death. I'm sure his men place bets, and that the whole sick spectacle, like the Roman circus, helps keep morale high. But, as in the circus, it's not just people that fight. There are animals, too. In these cages, Ivankov kept dogs. He forces the survivors to fight them, wearing boxing gloves, until the dogs tear them apart. And if anyone survives, Ivankov's own men finish the job. This leads us to the next problem. What does Ivankov do with the bodies? Easy. He cuts them up on this table, one by one. Alive, even, if they had the bad luck not to die in the arena. And then? I don't know. Maybe he throws them overboard, but that's always risky. Maybe if we interrogate him when he wakes up, he can tell us more. But that's not what really interests us. What really interests us is what's inside, or what was inside, this container. 
In recent weeks, Ivankov has kidnapped nine children for an anonymous client who pays him a fortune for each one of them. The most expensive item of all has been given the initials SC. Our Sophia, as proved by one of her shoes, which I found in there. Today, or possibly last night, the customer took delivery of the children and paid in full. Before this, Ivankov bought them new clothes and gave them a shower. Why would he do that? Is it to sell them into adoption and wealthy families? I very much doubt it, but I can't figure out another reason. What I do think is that his client doesn't want to leave loose ends. I think he forced him to get rid of the rest of his prisoners. This is why they organized fights yesterday, dismembered the combatants, and even killed all the dogs. Are you joking? No. Oh, man. Uh, let's take this piece of shit to Capone. What? They're old friends. I'm sure Alphonse will be happy to... Out of the question. Uh, you saw what he did to Burke. You want him to do it again? Want us to lose another witness? Christ, 20 years ago I let a child murderer slip through my fingers. I won't let that happen again. What if the two cases are related? Not gonna persuade you, am I? No. Okay. Ugh. Wake up, Elliot. <sighs> we there? No, still a ways to go. But from here we have to go on foot. 